Hello guys and welcome to a special hurricane alert video for Monster Hurricane Category 5 Major Hurricane Matthew just been upgraded to a 160 mile per hour storm as of 11 p.m. on the 30th of September 2016. Here is the latest NHC National Hurricane Center outlook concerning Matthew. On the bottom, in the middle, it says current information, and it has its max sustained wind at 160 mile per hour. Category 5 minimum is 157, and it is moving west at 7 miles per hour, and is expected to curve northward sometime tomorrow. Still as a major hurricane, possibly still a Category 5. And there are hurricane watches for Jamaica, tropical storm watches for Haiti, and tropical storm warnings for portions of Colombia. This is the latest Hurricane Hunters data that has been sent back to the NOAA headquarters and it shows the flight level winds and then the surface winds that they pick up as well as their pressure readings and it shows that darkest shade of pink, kind of pink salmon color of 137 plus is in there right in the middle. It's hard to see from the pressure readings but it's at 941 millibars which is really low because the last video was like barely below a thousand and the thousand is normal sea pressure so it has gone through something called rapid intensification and here is a uh, satellite image current satellite image is what you saw in the background of the uh, opening slide so this is you can see the eye very well in the middle there and it's getting smaller and more well defined which means that the storm is strengthening This is the short-term model outlook of where it's going to go. It is going to possibly make landfall on the eastern tip of Jamaica, and it will be a Category 4, maybe a 5 when it does that, most likely. It could be a high-end Category 3, depending on if it weakens significantly. And it's going to go through eastern Cuba, just shy of the mountains, so it will keep its strength for the most part. And then go into the Bahamas, currently forecast as a Category 2. And then from there, you can see as this longer range models, we don't really know what it's going to do. Could go close to Florida, could go out to sea, could go into the Carolinas or as far up as Long Island, New Jersey, Massachusetts. So it's really uncertain as of this point right now what it's going to do once it hits Jamaica and Cuba. But it's likely to stall in the Bahamas for a little bit. We'll sit there and not move as fast so that will give us more time to analyze the situation and this is a long long range so this is probably really inaccurate but most of these long long range models have it going out to sea curving away from the US just barely but even if it does not make landfall there will still be major impacts along the coast from the storm surge and the tides and possibly even some wind depending on how big the storm winds are from its circulation and this next slide is the intensity model forecast. This was when it was a category four, so it, this is not having it at category five right now. But you can see that most of it have it maintain, maintaining category five, and about 40% of them have it weakening once it makes landfall in Jamaica or Cuba, and then trying to re-strengthen from there. So. The models are still all over the place on its two intensity, but it looks like consensus is category four or five for at least the next couple of days. And this is the Lowe's current position. It's just north of Colombia, the Colombia Venezuela line, south of the Haiti Dominican Republic line. It's moving west. It'll curve up towards Jamaica, which is the little island in the northwest corner. This last thing here is a loop of the infrared satellite. As you can see, there is a very well-defined eye there with very strong winds within that um, kind of buzzsaw kind of feature to it, as most meteorologists call it, a buzzsaw, because of all the spiraling arms coming out from the center. And this is starting to get that, especially on the northern side, where there's more warm waters to work with. And that's about it for this video. I might have another one tomorrow, so you'll have to stop by and see if I have that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.